Hi everybody, this is a pre-recorded video. Today we just had an awesome add-on to our sale and these items are while supplies last. So if you're watching this video and it is no longer available, I am so sorry. But this is called the Level Up Kit. It is super cool. It comes with um, surfaces, it comes with paste singles, but we're gonna change it up a little bit. Um, if you have a gamer in your life or you love games or you have a game room in your home, these are amazing for that. So we're gonna get started and I'm gonna move this down. So I brought out all of the colors that I need here today. We are gonna do level up in bright white. We're gonna do just five more minutes in black velvet. And we're gonna do the eat, sleep, game, repeat in these colors right here, red, green, blue, and um, peony. So you guys will get to see, I will add all this to your cart link. Of course, if you just want to get the kit, which is 50% off right now, you can just do that and not have any of the add-ons. You can always change up the um, cart. You always want to keep your backer sheet and your um, packaging because it tells you all your care instructions on the back and these are reusable. So when they're cut apart, each piece is reusable eight to 12 times, sometimes more, but eight to 12 is what chalk says. And so we are going to use our transfer trimmers, cut this apart, and we're gonna get started. So I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. All right. So we are gonna start with the double-sided pedestal frame. I love the pedestal frame, it's super cool. And it is reusable, it's a reusable surface, so you can scrape, redo. It is double-sided, so you can change it up. Oh, sorry about that. It comes with all of the things to put it all together. And so you're gonna get this little, the pedestal part put together just so it's easier so I don't have to do it well um, after I'm done. So you literally can just, you just screw it on and then you screw it into the base of the pedestal frame. So we are gonna move this off to the side and we are going to, of course, right on the back. Yes, you can tell that our backer sheets are a little bit different now. They have a yellow backer but some of the older ones don't. So you wanna make sure that you are writing on the back so you know that that is the back. Level up, top, and dash mark. Just so I know how many uses I'm getting out of it. Um, and we're gonna fuzz this. Okay. The more silk screen you have, the less fuzzing you'll need to do. And the more usage you get out of it, the more times you use it, the less fuzzing you'll need as well. But if you have a transfer and you've only used it a couple times and the stickiness is no longer there, you can bring it back by taking a disinfectant wipe, any disinfectant wipe, um, and you just take it over, rinse it off, and then take your disinfectant wipe and wipe the back. And as it's damp, stick it back on its backer sheet and it will be good to use the next time. All right, so as you can see, this is a little bit longer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of do it. We're not gonna do the little hearts. We are just gonna do the level up this part right here, okay? So I don't wanna do those little hearts. So I'm actually gonna put some placement tape down we're gonna do that. Now, of course, you can do this on other surfaces, but it does come with the kit, so that's why we're doing it with the kit. Our placement tape is repositionable, reusable. We're gonna be using it quite a bit on this project today. So we're gonna grab out our bright white. You always wanna make sure your paste is stirred up. I did stir these up um, not that long ago, so I'm not gonna really stir it up majorly, but I'm gonna just take a stir stick and just kinda Get a little bit in there and just kind of move it around a little bit. Now, you always want to make sure that your, it's just like paint. You just want to make sure it's stirred up so it's easily spreadable. And you want to make sure it's like the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. So we're going to do it just like this. 
for some odd reason, I don't know if you guys remember or not, like the Ataris, that's what this symbol reminds me of. Reminds me of an Atari. But we have had pretty much all of the game systems, really. And so um, I thought this would be a cute little addition to a game room. All right, pulling all that extra off of there. I just got paste all over my fingers, but it's super easy to clean up. So kids love these things too. They love to do these kits as well. So I'm gonna pull this placement tape off and I'm gonna set it over here on the side because I need to use some placement tape in just a minute. So instead of pulling out more, I'm just gonna use what I have already out. So as always, you want to dry this. I'm gonna use my quick dry tool. Now, if you were gonna do this and do some pops of color, then you would wanna do the peel and chalk method. And you would probably do placement tape, more than likely. And you would just put all the different colors in, pull it up, dry it, lay it back down. I just wanted to do this quickly. I didn't want to necessarily do all the different colors, but it would be cool in all the colors. Now you'll know when it's dry because it'll go from like a matte or matte finish to a chalky finish or a glossy finish, depending on the surface as well. All right, so then you would take it and you would put this into the base or onto the frame and just spin it. And then there is the level up. We're gonna set this off to the side and I'll show you guys the whole um, project together once we're done. So these box frames, we are going to um, do these. We are going, you can do either side. You can do the white side or the wood side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the white because I want to do these in a pop of color. I am gonna wax the surface because it is porous and it is wood. So you always wanna wax that and make sure, and you don't need a lot. You just, I just dab it in a little bit like this and then spread it out. What you're doing is you're also protecting your transfer and you're making sure that the paste does not bleed. So we're gonna let that sit and absorb just for a second while we fuzz and prep this transfer. It helps if my wax will close there. All right, so we're gonna write on the back. Eat, sleep, game, repeat, top, and dashboard. All right. I am keeping all of my backer sheets, guys, so that I can put these back on there. This has a lot of silk screen, as you can see. There's a lot of silk screen there. So you definitely are gonna want to um, make sure it's fuzzed really well, but it's not gonna take a lot. So I always use the side with the tag to buff out the wax on a surface. And then that's ready to go. So we're going to set this here. So I'm gonna show you guys that pull and chop method, okay? So this, right now, we're gonna use this placement tape. And we're gonna go over top that of that one that's below it. Now I'm going to use a mini squeegee because of 
how small this area is. You can also use a multi-tool if you have a multi-tool because the bottom of the multi-tool is a squeegee as well. I'm going to close that up. We're going to pull this up real quick. Okay, so we already have the eat part. We're going to dry it. All right. Pulling that placement tape off. Very carefully, you want to pull it off very carefully. It does have red on it, so I'm actually going to put that off to the side because I don't want to get any of the color. So I'm just going to lay it right back down over top of what I just did. I'm going to pull out some more placement tape. Oh, we didn't do long enough, but that's okay. We're going to go just like this. Covering that up so we know we're not going to get that. We are going to use, this is sage. This is one of my favorite greens to use. And we're just going to go and put the paste on there. Just want to make sure that you're covering that silk screen. Because if you don't, it's not going to turn out right and you're not going to be happy with that. There's a spot right there. Okay. So, closing that up. And you're just going to keep doing that until you get everything that you want the way you want it. I just noticed there's a little bit right here that I did not want there, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my detail tool and I'm going to scrape that off there. It's another reason why you wax too, is to make sure that that um, you can clean that up really well. Now we have an artisan tool set. I can find the actual thing I'm looking for. It's right here. Um, and it's got like a little, um, I just pulled it off its handle. It's got a little um, like, I can't even, it's like a sponge type. And I'm just gonna spritz it with my distilled water. And I'm just gonna kind of clean that spot up real quick. I'm gonna get that cleaned off there. I'm gonna take, there we go. So that spot's been cleaned up. I'm gonna dry this again because I just got a little bit of water on there. All right, and then we're gonna do the next one. Pulling this off. I recycle my um, my tape, but you can reuse it over and over and over um, as long as, and I've just noticed that it's in that silk screen. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to clean this real quick just because I don't want to get that where I don't want it. And you can see that that is dying my um, fuzzing cloth, but that's okay. It's okay that it's doing that. That's what the fuzzing cloth is meant to have done to it. So I'm going to flip this back over. So I'm kind of showing you guys also how to clean your transfers. Oh, now my water doesn't want to spray. Um, I'm just kind of getting that color off of there. And then you want to always wash the 
So I do start sticky side first, and then I go with um, the other side, and then I go sticky side again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly dry this off just so that I can um, use it right now. So we're going to do that, making sure that this is dry because I don't want it to wash off my... Um, Stuff that I already did, right? So let's go there using some more placement tape. We're at the end of that placement tape, so that's a good thing because it's getting close to being done. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to. Let me see if I have any extra. I thought I had some sitting here. I just moved that whole transfer. Pretty sure I have some sitting here, guys. I just gotta find it. But we can always use our multi-tool and just keep an eye on that spot and make sure that I'm not putting it where it shouldn't go. So there is that as well. So that's one of the great things about the multi-tool is that you can kind of guide where you want the paste to go a little bit easier in smaller spots or smaller frames like this, smaller designs, because of how small that squeegee is. And we have an even smaller one on our detail tool. Our detail tool actually has a very, very tiny squeegee at the bottom. You can see it right there. So it's super awesome for projects like this as well. All right, pull that up. Dry it. Mm. one and because of not really needing that tape so I want to set it off to the side but we're going to use another multi-tool just to get that where we want it okay so let's close that up and then we have one more project after this one to do so it's always nice to have multiple multi-tools for things like this. I mean, it'll clean off really easy. I literally use a baby wipe to clean it off. Um, the baby wipes I use are 99% water, so they work really well at cleaning squeegees and all of the tools. So, keeping that in mind these all are like reusable tools. You can have them forever, really, until they just fall apart, which I've never had happen. And I've been doing this for almost four years. So, all right. And then there's the neat sleep game repeat. So I'm going to set that off to the side and then we're going to do the just five more minutes with our other box frame. I'll open this up here. I like to keep my um, boxes when I'm transporting um, just so that nothing gets damaged. So if you're like taking it or gifting it, you might want to keep the box frame box it works really well to transport or to give as a gift or to ship or whatever so keeping that in mind we're 
We're going to do the same thing we did with the Eat, Sleep, Game, Repeat. Like I said, this kit is 50% off. Many items have been added to the sale. Um, you can also um, save up to 70% off on some of the transfers. And if it's something that's holiday related, um, you can change it up. You can use bits and pieces of things and make it um, unique to you. So they're not just, some of those aren't just seasonal because you can actually do other projects with those. All right, and we are going to get started with this one. Just five more minutes. I'm going to do this in black velvet. And this is all while supplies last, so if you are wanting something, you're going to want to grab things quick because things are selling out pretty quickly um which is a great thing but you don't want to miss out you definitely don't want to miss out all right And there is the just five more minutes and dry that. And then I'll lift this camera up and show you guys. The whole kit together. Just five more minutes. The eat, sleep, game, repeat, and level up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you are not a chalk door designer, please click the S H A R E button. Spread the love for me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.